now with the top view here and the front view here, let's try to visualize what the front of the house looks like. What I have is a three-dimensional rendering of the house with the garage, front door, bathroom window, and this window for the room over here. This is what we're trying to represent here in our front view, is the front of the house. What I'm going to do is draw the roof line here over the garage. Then we'll have to draw the roof line and establish where the ridge line of this roof is located in the front view. Let me show you how that's done. So, go to my house. We need to know a little bit about how the roof is framed here. So, if we take a look at a typical framing plan, here is the walls all the way from the floor to the top plate here. Frequently, the roof is framed with trusses, which are set on top of the plate. So, what we notice here is that the top cord of the truss just touches the outside of the double top plate here in this corner. So, typically the thickness of a cord is a 2 by 4. So, we'll assume these to be 2 by 4 um, top cords. And then over that, we'll, it will lay a piece of um, half inch plywood or OSB or something like that. So we turn back to our drawing. So what I'm going to do is draw a line that rep represents the top cord or the bottom of the top cord. I want to start from this point and now I need to specify this angle or slope of the roof. In our drawing, I'm going to use a 4 and 12 roof. How do I get a 4 and 12 um, line to sh appear here? Well, I can use a relative reference. From my start point of the line here, I want to go at 12 feet, comma, 4 feet. And that will draw a line at a 4 and 12 pitch center. Next, I know this line represents the bottom of a 2 by 4, so I'm going to offset that, and that will be offset 3.5 inches. Okay. That represents the thickness of the 2 by 4 top cord, and then I will offset a half inch for the plywood sheathing. Now I have essentially the framing of the roof here. For the eaves, I want to extend some eaves out and let's extend them out two feet. So 24 inches. I'm going to offset this line over and then I will extend my rafter or top cord and that one center. This line I can take advantage of that. I'm going to go back to the trim command, trim this. Now I have the um, top cord of the truss. I want the same thing over on the other side. I'll just mirror it. So I'm going to mirror these lines plus that line. I'm going to reference the midpoint. Notice I really need to, if I need to force it, I can always shift right click, say I want midpoint, and force that. Next, I will turn ortho on. Ortho, click it on. That way I mirror there. Do 
not erase. Now all that's left is trimming these lines out. So I use the trim command and I want to trim pretty much everything here. Let's trim that back and then that. center, get rid of the extra lines, complete. So now I have the roof drawn over the garage. Next we'll look at how we're going to get this ridge line and locate its position. We'll do that by projecting the left view of the house. 